Hey guys, making this quick video before I gotta do my normal daily routine, but I wanted to share with you this HP Compact 6730B laptop. This is not mine, this, uh, well, it's obviously not mine because the, uh, it's dusty and stuff, but that's not what I wanna talk about. The reason why I'm making this video is because, well, I upgraded the hard drive and the RAM. It takes up to eight gigabytes. In fact, uh, this is the original RAM that was in here. It was four gigs, but now it's double to eight gigs. I don't think it can run up to 16, so I'm not gonna chance it because I've done that before with the 2007 MacBook Pro, which ran an Intel Core Duo. I featured that in a very, very older video when I lived in the other house that I used to live in. And, uh, well, with this laptop, I will fire it up in just a minute. It originally had Vista on it, but I upgraded to uh, Windows 10. These Vista and 7 machines can upgrade to 10 easily. I'm not going to try 11 because it's not out yet publicly, and I don't want to download it illegally. Maybe when it comes out legally, I may consider it. I don't know. But this isn't my laptop. This is a family member's that's going to go to a friend or something. I haven't decided, but let me show you the cool features it has. You got a nice keyboard. You can actually remove this keyboard and uh, get access to the RAM that's underneath here. One of the RAM slots is here, the other is underneath. Let's go ahead and close the lid. You got your HP logo, the older rectangle logo. The new one just has the circle without the borders around it. Let's go ahead and unplug this. And I'll show you the features. You got a headphone jack and a microphone. You got your indicators right here for Wi-Fi, power, charging, and a hard drive when it's loading. But there's a solid state drive here, so it's probably going to be just uh, either glowing or off. That's for if you're using an older cell hard drive. On this side, you've got a card reader, two USB ports. They're 2.0, not 3.0. DVD drive, VGA. On the back here, well, that's not VGA, that's some serial port. Your phone modem, if you still use America Online, you can use this laptop with that. Ethernet, there's your VGA. It's also got S-Video. And on this side you got two more USB ports. Firewire, the power adapter, and the express card slot. And on the bottom here, this is where the interesting stuff is. This is your battery. To remove it, you slide this latch here, and it comes out. The latch is broken, so the previous owner used tape on it, but I'm going to replace it with uh, something, I don't know. The latch doesn't work, but that's okay. It doesn't slide out as much. The, the RAM stick is here, the hard drive goes here. I think your Bluetooth Wi-Fi is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up. Oh, and by the way, before I do, let me read the information. It's the Compact 6730B, your pin number, model number, had Windows 7 on here originally. There was a sticker right there. I tried entering that on uh, Windows 8.1 when I tried on another device, it wouldn't work. So let's go ahead and open it up, fire it up. Hit the escape key. Oh, the battery's dead. Gotta plug in the charger. <laughs> Lovely. There we go. Let it boot up a bit. The processor needs to be replaced in here. The reason why I'm making this video is because I need information on the processor. <clears throat> but if you're curious about the information, <clears throat> excuse me, here it is. The manufacturer is HP, it is the Compact 67. 30B. It has a Core 2 Duo CPU P8400 with a 2.26 gigahertz. The memory size is 8 gigs, that's 8192 megabytes, if you do the math. The ROM date says 2009. The battery says it's not present, but 
there is a battery in there. No device present. But I'm not going to demonstrate with Windows 10 because there's a new drive in there and I don't want to put information on here. So it does work. I did fire it up with a secondary hard drive with Linux Ubuntu on it and it works just fine. So that's all I want to share with you guys. So if anyone knows uh, the maximum processor it can take, let me know in the comments. I better get going. It's getting kind of late. It's, well, late in the morning. So. Also, another thing you need to mention, this is not the official uh, charger. This is one we had laying around. It's the Efresia adapter. It works pretty good. We were going to buy an HP one, but this one fires up the laptop just fine. Anything. So other than that, uh, yeah. That's all I have to say here. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Keep Me 25 signing off.